for a game. It's your boy Marcus. Back at it again. Oh! Somebody! Oh! He needs no. some milk! And today we are doing the night routine with my sissy, my sister, Angelia. Say hello. Hey, so we're going to show you how we do it, what we got going on before we go to bed and we just ready to chill down, lay it down, you know, quarantine time. So we just show y'all what we do. So we'll be right back for what we're about to do next. All right, M4 game, we are back. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you our facial routine. So Angelia, take it away. Okay, so well, we use the same stuff, but we use this rapid clear stubborn acne from Neutrogena. And then we use this um, Dickens's Witch Hazel we get from Walmart or CVS. FYI, don't use it if you have very sensitive skin. And if you do use it, don't leave it on for no more than uh, as most of a minute because it'll start to burn. Like, if it's a tingle, it's good. But if it burns, take it off. I learned that from experience. So that's what we use on our face. So I'm not going to do mine right now because what I have on my face right now is a mask. Actually, matter of fact, let me show you real quick. <laughs> So, y'all, this is what I have on my face right now. It's a um, black charcoal peel-off mask. It's for pore care, it clarifies, and it's an effective peel-off mask formulated with potent charcoal to draw impurities and unclog pores and skin clear and make it feel refreshed, make it feel snatched, refreshed, have you feeling like you got a clear mind, it makes your face feel good. And especially with mine, because I have sensitive skin and everything I eat absorbs in my skin. So it's like, no. Now, if y'all wonder why I'm looking the mess like this, this is my night routine, but it's also me every once a week or every twice a week. I wash my hair conditioner. That's why I look like my grandma in the shop. So don't do me, you don't judge. Don't judge on hers. I don't know her. And she looks like somebody's ghost in castle. Don't okay. Be. Okay. <laughs> so. But that being said, I'm not doing mine because after this mask, I use mine the next day because it'll burn if I put the, this on after the mask because of the chemicals that's in there so you gotta let it fit until the next day, almost 25 hours or whatever. She scrubbed it in her face, get all in them pores, make sure you scrub it in. I said, no, what the fuck? So y'all, after the mask, and we also then apply this witch hazel. So once you scrub it in her skin, and uh, what she has on her face right now, washes it off. I use a scrubber, so hold on. I just use my hands because, you know, nothing's better than using your hands. So, y'all, she uses her hands, but if you have clean hands, you wash your hands, then that's fine. But I use a scrubber. It's not, I don't know the brand, but you can get it from Walmart. They, I know it's in pink. It's like, you're doing why you got pink. Well, maybe I like pink. Do you pull my hair back? It, yeah. It was the only, it was the only one that was in Walmart. But you can get it from Walmart, Target, all this stuff. Now, this witch hazel that I was talking about, after she uh, washes that off her face, we apply with witch hazel. But it's not just any witch hazel. Don't go to the store and get the off brand. Usually, I would say, okay, get it for the cheapest you can. But you have, this is something essential for you. You have, if you use that, you have to get this. It's TN Dickinson's Witch Hazel, 100% natural. And it's for face and body. I've never tried it on my body. I don't think I will, but it's really I good have. for your face. Well, she said she has. It works. And it works wonders. Like, you put it on, on your face, and it, like, it, like, makes it feel like you just put cold, fresh water on your face. Like, it's like, whew, And it's, like, and it helps reduce bumps and opens your pores even more and all that good stuff. So, with that being said. Wait, wait, wait. I got something on here. I got something that's going to feel. Oh, don't wet my braids. Just put it on the counter. Don't wet my braids. Just put it on the counter. Okay. So, then, after this. Like I said, we put the witch hazel on, and then after the witch hazel, you know, it just goes in your skin and just helps, you know, do what the uh, rapid clear uh, stubborn acting Neutrogena is, which is this what she showed, because I know I said a lot in that. And then after that, you know, once that gets in your pores, then usually what I do, because I used to have braces, so I usually brush my teeth twice a day, once in the morning when I get up, and then another once I, you know, get ready to lay it down. And what I use is, me and her use pretty much the same toothpaste. So this is what I use. Um, it's the Colgate uh, charcoal. And it basically just helps, you know, keep your teeth clean and whiten your teeth. And especially the people that have had braces, because when you get your braces off and all that stuff, it keeps all that plaque and all that yellow stuff off your teeth and all that stuff. But, you know, I plan to get my teeth white because, you know, I just got to have extra clean teeth once all that stuff, you know, blows over. And then after that, um... 
I clean out my retainers because I have retainers there right now. It's, you can't see it, but if you can not see it, it's clear. And if you have braces, you already know. Because some people get the metal ones, but I like the plastic ones so I can keep up with them. So after that, you know, I just clean it out with any toothpaste. I think I use mine. I think I use Colgate to clean out my retainers, but you can use Crest, Colgate, all of that stuff. And then after that, what do you do? Because, you know, sometimes we do different things. Well, at night, yeah. I just put on my face stuff, you know, brush my teeth. Mm -hmm. And yes, and then I use the black mask. I use this black mask every like, like maybe one, two weeks. See, so she uses hers every two weeks. I do mine every few weeks or like once a month. Like okay, for example, I'm doing it now because it's April. The last time I used this mask was back in early of March. But you can do it every few weeks because some people want to use it more. I kind of use it as like a pampering thing. Like okay, like meantime, like I put face mask on. You know, I probably cut these long joints, toenails, and these long sharp Edward scissor hands, as my family <laughs> say, because they love to talk about my fingernails and my toenails. You scraping up the sand. You scraping up the semen. Yeah, to the this is blasphemy. So, with that being said. That's really it for what we do to go to bed. But what I'm also going to show you, because you see I get this grandma in the shop plastic cap on my head. <laughs> like I said, I wash, I wash and condition my hair every one or two weeks, but usually every two weeks because you're not supposed to wash your hair all the time. So I try to wash, keep up with it because when you color your hair, especially everybody know color your hair, it, it's more chemical than it's just a lot of stuff. You got to keep up with it. And... Besides that, that's all we really do. So I'm going to show y'all the curls and all the stuff once I get finished washing my hair. My lovely sister is going to do that for me. Ting. And also, let me show y'all what I use for my beard. So it looks a mess right now, but I shaved it like three or four times like in the past when it was growing in. Because everybody knows for the dudes that when your mustache growing, your beard growing, it growing patches. Or sometimes it growing spots. Sometimes it growing full. So the more you shave it, my dad told me the more you shave it, the more it grows back thicker and fuller and all that stuff. So I'm going to show y'all what I use real quick. Two seconds. Okay. So I use the Beard Care Kit. So I have another oil that I use. But next time I use that oil, I'll show y'all. And basically what's in it, I'm going to show y'all. You got this right here. So, it's really nice. It really wasn't that expensive. You got the, you know, of course the brush, the brush down there. Beard, so I'm gonna look a mess right now like it does right now. I can actually brush it for y'all because I'm not gonna put the oil on there tonight because I try to put oil on there every two days. Like, you see how I brush it down? Like, it's, it look rough right now because I haven't had a haircut, so using my barber to tape it up for me, but I usually try to do it myself because I don't like everybody in the cliff touching me, but the barber that I usually go to, I'm pretty cool with them, so it's like, you know, I don't really... It don't really matter. My beard at that form. Like, I can't wait till it gets thicker. Then you got a little scissors because it's like you trim your hair every few weeks or a month or six to eight weeks. You need to trim your beard. But beard is a little bit different. I try to trim my beard at least every two weeks, you know, just so I won't get any knots and just so, like, it can grow. But, yeah, just so it can grow and all that good stuff. And then you also have the oil. So, like I said, I use this oil maybe, like, twice, three times a week right here and it's really good but you're supposed to moisturize it in your skin once you moisturize it in your skin it really really helps so then also right here i haven't used this yet but it's the beer bomb but this is when your beard gets thicker so a beer bomb is basically like you put in there it's like a it's almost like a lotion like a moisturizer and it's very thick so you probably will wait until your beard gets like maybe like a like an inch and a half to two inches long and besides that that's all that's in the box like i said there's another oil that i also am going to start using after once it gets longer but i'll show y'all that another time because i'm sure i do another night routine and like i said i'm gonna show y'all when she's watching my hair to get these curls and we'll be back to y'all in a good hot second wish pop me up again here we are again and we are about to wash this head of mine so what we're gonna do is is you're gonna see you know her just washing it out and all that good stuff and that's pretty much it um i didn't bring the shampoo down here but what i'll do is is when you're watching it you'll see pictures of it so that'll work okay so you're just gonna see her wash my hair out and enjoy and we'll be right back in a few minutes what's up oh my god who all right, get this two pieces with a biscuit. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Come on, baby. <laughs>
Final Four game. That was our night routine. It was short, sweet, and simple. And if you want more of these night routines, comment below. And then also make sure if you wanted me to do a little story on from my story, spoiler time from my previous video, make sure you give me 10 likes. It's not about the likes or the subscribers. It's just about seeing who's watching and just, you know, seeing what y'all like and what y'all don't like. So with that being said, these are cupcakes that me and my sister made earlier. They're red velvet strawberry cupcakes. They're pretty delicious and pretty moist. And with that being said, we're gonna watch a movie and head up out of here and get ready to just chill out. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe, tell people, and turn those bell notifications on, people. And your boy Marcus is out. Baby.